Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another uh, Antimatter Dimensions Progress Update video. And, well, basically, um, this video, um, you, you can see, like, I'm, I'm formatting it a little differently. I am gonna now spend a lot of the time on the spreadsheet chart and then go to the game. And, yeah, I have reached a Maximus Million Antimatter, which is. 10 to the 1 millionth power. It's crazy. Actually, I did it like literally the day after I recorded last video. I was on the 27th. I only had the first three. And I've done a number of changes. Well, first, you can see it goes on a lot longer. And also, um, like, I added some new stuff. Um, like here, cell cells in red that are like attorney challenges that take a particularly long time or are not completed. So the 36 hour run that I had doing attorney challenge two third time, marking that red because it took way too long. Um cells in yellow are basically like long runs where you know you get like a lot of new time theorems and attorney points. And cells in green are runs where you get a new achievements and um sometimes yellow there'll be both yellow and green, so like this one. So yeah, I on the twenty eighth, that's when I got um had a twelve hour run to get um about ten of the twenty three eternity points and finally E one million ten to the one millionth power antimatter. This is just a logarithm, in case you're wondering. This is time theorems, like new time theorems that I get from Antimatter and infinity points. I'm not counting the ones from eternity points because that's a little bit different. So then I decided to do um, eternity challenge four a second time, and yeah, and then I decided to do a. I I think I was first gonna go on, on like a longer run, but then decided to go on a on another longer run. Um, I decided to reset a little early so I could get um, the long lasting relationship achievements using um, like the way to like if you don't want to I mean like like you'll get it eventually but like you can do it easier by um, I'll, I'll actually go to the, the main game basically I, I read that like to get it you need to turn off the like replicate automatic replicated galaxy and like turn off the auto crunch and the auto eternity. So these two, um, and and then like you have to like also turn like off this auto buyer and like just and like click this like twice a second. So yeah, that's that. So anyway, back to this, um. I did um turn it down three time three third time, six first time, and another long run and got even more antimatter. Um then seven first time, six second time, um first fourth time, or no attorney challenge one fourth time, then attorney challenge five second time. And then I went on yet another longer run and got over E1.2 million antimatter and 10 time theorems. It's one of the most powerful runs. Also, increased from 24 point, E24.8 to E26.6 eternity points. So then I actually um, um, went on like some like shorter um, eternities because like. I was really supposed to get to 105,000 instead of just like 103,000, so I just did a few. And also, I was going for this achievement. Eternities are the new infinity, which is you have to eternity in less than 200 milliseconds, and I did it in 199 milliseconds. Yeah, it's, so it's crazy. Then I just went and did a few more eternity challenges. Eternity challenge three, four time, one fifth time. That's the first time I included, like, did all five. Because you can like um, to get better and better rewards, you have to do it five times. You should do it five times. I also did four 
third time, and yeah, I'm like, what do these R's mean? It's like, um, is basically like it's just like getting the requirement for it. Like Attorney Challenge Four is notorious for for taking like hours to to um, get the the requirement. Moving on, I um I did um another long run and got um all the way up to E one point two eight million and to matter eight more time theorems, E sixty five eighty six infinity points and E twenty eight point four tyranny points. Then I did Attorney Challenge five third time, seven second time, and then it went on yet another long run to get even more. So then I went on this big Attorney Challenge streak. Um, you can see how long it took here. Five seconds to do Attorney Challenge eight first time. Five minutes to do Attorney Challenge six third time. Six minutes to do Attorney Challenge um, two four time. Fourth time, one hour to do Attorney Challenge 2, fifth time, and 15 minutes to do Attorney Challenge 3, fifth time. You can see, like, my infinity point values here. So, then I went actually on two long runs in a row, and, yeah, I went from E30 to E32.5 Attorney Points, and that's where I stand. I also hit a record of E1.5 million, so not only I hit E1 million, I'm... Now, like logarithmically, halfway bet over halfway between one million and e one million and e two million. It's crazy. And then, like today, you can see what I did. I I attempted a few attorney challenges. I could only complete seven third time, five fourth time. Um, I I tried six fourth time and eight second time, but I um eight second time I obviously could not do. It didn't even get close. And and um like. Six fourth time, I needed like ten to the sixteen hundred infinity points, and I, and I sort of like I I couldn't get past like ten to the fifteen fifty about, like I, it just wasn't enough. So then I, I went and tried for attorney challenge four fourth time again, and yeah, notoriously long requirement nine hours just to get all the infinity stat. It takes like. I, I mean, I could have probably done it in maybe one and a half hours, but that's still really long. Like, it took triple the time to unlock the challenge than to complete the challenge. So going up here, um, these are all the Eternity Challenges. And, yeah, you could, this is just like a little thing I do to keep like a personal guide of how, um, of which one I should do next. So, yeah. This is like the I've done one, um all five for one to three, and you can see look I I I you can see where I like messed up or not messed up but just like I I had to give up on turning chop six and eight. It's so like this the red just means the latest set was given up, and yeah I I um I've been recording thirty two I just rounded to like the nearest. Whole number or integer, um, for a long worth of eternity points. So yeah, I I, I could I, I tried, but it it just would have I don't think it could have gone to e sixteen hundred. And here I would have needed to get to like e twenty two hundred, and I and I was capping out around e eighteen seventy. Maybe I could have gone to like e nineteen hundred, but that's not enough. So yeah, and you can see um everything on the main game. Like, just if I go out of the spreadsheet, I'll do it now. And back here in the main game, you can you can see where everything is coming from. I'm already like I started like a long run, maybe thirty minutes ago, maybe a little less. And I I'm up to e one point four million. It's crazy. And like a, a lot of the stuff that's happening is because of like replicantes here. So. And yeah, you can you can see I did do these achievements. I did get this one. Um, have your infinity power for a second exceed your um, infinity power for sixty consecutive seconds during a single infinity. And this one, it's already under two hundred milliseconds. I only have fifteen achievements to go. So, um, but like some of the later ones look really really hard. 
So, yeah, I'll get there eventually. So, yeah, it's basically, um, you, you can look at my time study tree. Not really much because I'm, I'm saving up for this one, which, like, it doesn't sound that good, but, like, I've heard it's, like, the most overpowered thing ever. So, I mean, I could get these, but there's no reason to right now. Like, I don't need to keep doing these. Um, I'm just, I'm doing, like, a long run. So, yeah. This is, this is how the game is right now. It's been a lot faster since last episode. Like, I, I think I jumped from, like, E18 to, like, E22, and now up to, like, E32. Like, I wanted to E18 to E22. That was, like, between episodes 1 and 2. Maybe episodes 2 and 3, that was between, that's, like, E, went from, like, E22 to E32. And when I keep saying, like, E, it just means, like, 10 to the power of the number after the E. So, if you just... If you're wondering, also you can look at my Eternity Challenge rewards. Um, like these are they're really good. Like huge time dimension multiplier, which gives the tick speed, which gives lots and lots and lots of tick speed upgrades, which help me get lots and lots more antimatter. So and then there's um this, which basically means that um. Like infinity dimensions are a little more powerful. Like it, like infinity power is this it affects how powerful this is. The first infinity dimension. So it just gives like an, uh, another bonus to the infinity dimension. They're, they're they're insane. Like like it's like a ten to the seventy four thousand boost to all dimensions. Like that alone is like giving me. Like ten to the almost ten to the six hundred thousand. Going here it increases the multiplier for buying ten dimensions. So, um, I I think it's a little bit smaller of a multiplier, but I think it still helps. Of course, it still helps. And this, um, yeah, I I don't know how to do this. Zero infinities. Uh, I like apparently with study one eighty one it makes it possible, but I'm not sure how. Like, it'll be a mystery. Next episode, I'll, I'll, I'll hopefully have study. And when I keep saying study one eighty one, I mean this, this one. So, it gives me an, an infinity dimension multiplier. I think it's for all the infinity dimensions, so it's like really, really powerful. Going here, it's galaxy cost scaling starts so twenty galaxies later. So like. Basically, up like the first 100 antimatter galaxies, like it requires 60 more eighth dimensions, but after that, it gets like 62, 64, 66. But like what this does, it just makes the scaling start not at like 100, but 120. This is further reduced the dimension cost multiplier increase after like break infinity. Basically, it just means I can buy more of the per 10 dimensions. This is, um, basically, it, it's almost like a ninth dimension. Almost. It's like, first time dimension produces eighth infinity dimensions. So, it almost makes the time dimensions, like, um, it almost makes the time dimensions, like, another, um, like, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth dimensions for the infinity dimensions. And finally, infinity power powers up replicanti galaxies. So it basically just makes like this also give a small boost to the replicating galaxies, if you see here. Like it makes like like the like the the plus thirty six, that's the replicated galaxies. These are the normal galaxies. So it just makes them like even more powerful. Also, I think you can get some more time. I don't know. I haven't gotten there yet. I, I've almost forgotten like how 
how much infinity points it actually reach, reached. Like, I always, I thought it was like 7,500. I, I did get to like 7,800 in, in the last a turn, or in the last like long run. So yeah, that, that about wraps it up. So I've, I've shown you everything there is to show right now. So yeah, actually just one last thing. If I wrote three numbers per second, it would take me five days, 20 hours. I'm like, it's like five days and 21 hours over that to just write down my antimatter amount in decimal form. That That's how insane the numbers are. So yeah. That wraps it up officially. So peace out.